Hello, hello, everybody. Kevin and Boats is back for another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. And look what I finally got finished here. Finally got some rails laid. Over a thousand rails, guys. I went a few over on each end just so I could uh, make it an even number. That's my OCD. And um, we're going to get this rail achievement completed finally. Let's see. Um, I think it was... I made over 16 stacks of rails. Well, I didn't make all of them. I think I got a total of five and a half stacks out of um, the two mine shafts that I found. And then I made all the rest, and then all the powered rail. There are 20... No, there are 30... Is that right? Let's see, there's 27... Uh, 30... 33, I think, powered rails, because I got three on each end, and then I think there's 27 in between. Um, red stone torches underneath the powered rails to maintain my acceleration. And then uh, just a button on each end for a little over a thousand blocks. Let's see, we're at 579, so that's two extra on this side. And I think the other side might be exactly 500 from the center. So you subtract one. Okay, then it's a thousand and one. No, it's a thousand and two. Anyway, <laughs> let's get this going. Hopefully this works. It should. And there shouldn't be any mobs. Uh, there are some open caves that come in here. Or lead into this little tunnel. But I lit them up pretty good. There's one ravine that runs through here. So they could technically drop in on me. From up above. Because I did not light up. Up above in the ravine. Those are caves. Where is this thing? It's coming up. Anyway, uh, how's everybody doing? There it is. <laughs> We're okay, though. Um, I'm a little excited because... We're gonna do something a little different today. Today we're gonna work a little bit on uh, a layout for the uh, farmhouse that I was telling you about. The building... It's not a banished building, nor is it banished inspired. It's my simple, uh, it's just me. It's my own inspiration, I guess. And I'm sure some of it is from bits and pieces that I've picked up uh, from watching Minecraft videos and, and whoa, there's a little bit of lag there uh, and whatnot. But um, we're going to do a little layout on that. I'll go over and show you the, the tunnel, the finished tunnel. I don't know, there's a few tweaks I still want to do to it. Unfortunately, it's a really small hill, and you'll kind of find out what I mean when I talk about the, the ceiling of the, uh, of the tunnel. It's a little more flat than I like. I wanted it kind of a little more, like, broken up, like it was bombed out. But I didn't want to use TNT on it because it was such a small hill that we were drilling through. This should be it. We should be coming up on it. Where is it? Are you kidding me? Uh... Okay, we're traveling back here. Let's try it one more time, because I'm pretty sure I'm correct. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've got a thousand, over a thousand rails here. Um, negative 579. What am I missing? I've done this achievement before. <laughs> Travel by minecart at least one kilometer from where you started. Um, 
I did not get out of the cart. I did not get out of the cart. Right? When I started, I started in the middle to come down here. And then when I got down here, I started. When I got down there, I didn't get out. Uh, I stopped recording briefly because I was thinking of what I was going to do. I was going to go get a lever to power that rail. Um, oh. Uh, okay, I'm out. Let's do that. Let's do this. And hopefully this time it's real. Again, I'm going to just hold the W when we get to the end. And that should keep us going through that unpowered rail. If it doesn't work, I will go back and grab a lever and uh, just power that the rail at the end. And then I will uh, bring the video back. So you don't have to watch me go down this tunnel again and again. You've already done it twice. I'm sure it's extremely fun for you guys. <laughs> man, oh man. You know, just when you think you've got a handle on some parts of this game, it always comes back at, uh, to bite you in the butt that, nope, you're wrong. You still have not learned even the simplest parts of this game. Oh, this was a lot of work, though, by the way, to tunnel all this out. This part was my original strip mine. Uh, and there's several tunnels off it. And then I decided to just try to get this rail done so that we could get this achievement completed. And so I tunneled on both sides 500 blocks, or on the other side 502 because... Uh, I wanted it to be an even number for my torch <laughs> placement. Anyway, um, so we're coming up on the end here. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> we still got another 200 some odd meters to go. But that's okay. We're, we'll be there quickly. And hopefully, we'll nail it. Since I jumped out, I think... Uh-oh. I think he's on the other side. Oh, dear. Okay, guys. Please. Yes. Okay. So there you go. Um, now we know the, the, uh, the problem with this achievement. If you don't get out of the cart before you start it. So make sure that you... Um, Wherever you're going to start your one kilometer uh, travel, that you didn't start somewhere else on the track to get to that point, make sure you get out of the minecart. And voila, it's done. So we've got all this done at the top. The adventuring time, I believe all we've got left for this achievement is the uh, Mushroom Island. Um, so I might go looking for that sometime soon. I think the next project I want to get done, though, is this, the wither. So as I was saying, uh, I didn't want you to have to listen to the minecart all, all over again. Okay. Um, I really uh, want to get this wither thing done uh, so I can get a beacon because I'm tired of strip mining. <laughs> I really... Uh, Rats. I am so sorry that I built my house here. My, my original house with this wall. Hey, jerk. Get out of here. I don't know if it's just him or if it's these guys too. It's probably these guys too. So we'll get rid of them. And hopefully now I can go to sleep. Um, so I'm going to take you on a little tour of everything we did. Uh, kind of while I explain. Uh, anyway, I really want a beacon. So I don't have to strip mine anymore. I can just do speed mining so much faster. Um, to gather materials. Um, 
So let's go head towards that tunnel. I'll show you the tunnel. Something I've done here, um, I did the old door trick because I was losing, um, I'm down to five villagers, or at the time before I built this structure. Um, I hear a guy. Oh, there they are. Oh, yeah, they're already, they're already loving each other. Did you make anybody? Oh, three-way, huh? Okay. <laughs> no, they won't do that. <laughs> this game's not that kinky. Uh, okay, you didn't make anybody. I know one, uh, I was kind of observing. <laughs> I feel like a mad scientist observing. There he is. Oh, I think that's a different one. Because uh, I think the baby I saw was a brown robe. Maybe it was a white robe. Um, anyway, we lost... Well, I've got two blacksmiths now, or a weaponsmith. Both weaponsmiths. So, okay. So, that's a new one. Or I think that might have been the one I saw, in fact. Oh! Alright. Well, anyway, it's working. We're, uh, pop populating, repopulating this little, uh, market. Uh, I took these three guys out. So that they could make the babies. Um, and get this thing... I want this place to be like a bustling market place. Um, and of course I will never let them outside of the market. They will always stay in the market. Um, that's just the way it's going to be. Uh, the crappy ones, I don't know if they populate enough and I let them out. I mean, they're going to die. Because I don't light up this place near enough. Obviously, uh, even the marketplace wasn't lit up enough because, like I said, I was losing. I think when I started, what did I have? A dozen? Ten to twelve I had. And, uh, wow, that is... What is going on, people? It's really laggy through there. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, yeah, to get down to five, I was down by either five or seven. Or five to, five to seven. Uh, villagers, that's not good. I did go through and check, and everything seems lit up, but you never know. Could be something on one of the roofs or something. That's where they're going. Here we are. Wow, this place really got overgrown <laughs> since I <laughs> left it. Uh, I found a place for some vines. Uh, put in... These are trees, actually. Or at least some of them. I did some shrubbery here, like they're overgrown bushes hanging over the, the tunnel entrance and stuff and around it. Um, even around here I did some stuff. And then you come in, I put a, some of the mossy stone that we've picked up and just found a place for some of this stuff that I probably wouldn't have used otherwise. The mossy stone I normally wouldn't have used. The vines, um, you know, I don't know. I kind of like it. I thought about making this the acacia, you know, so that it's like mildewy wood rather than the oak. But then I don't know what I would do with the oak here. Um, it wouldn't... I don't know. It might look good. I, I could try it. But, uh, yeah. I think it's I think it's pretty good. What I was talking about here, the flat roof, I didn't really want that, but there's only, in many places here, there's only like one block of dirt uh, to the outside. So I would have to kind of lift, you know. But I was going to incorporate some cobblestone and stuff or regular stone to make it look kind of cavey. Uh, and then just have the bushes kind of growing around. But I added all green. And it's kind of good, right? Like it's climbed or whatever and it's coming down. Gave it kind of a cool, different look. And the same way, coming in here. Just a nice, overgrown... Uh, I kind of don't like how that's the same, but... Anyway, I like it. Tell me what you think of it. Um, like I said, I'll probably just leave this the way it is. Just because, unfortunately, above it, 
there's only like one block. Some places have two, but yeah. Anyway, um, that is not nice at all to stand on your child. Oh, so yeah, uh, yesterday when I had some free time after the Super Bowl, <laughs> if you didn't know, I am a Seahawks fan, die hard. Well, not die hard, but I've been a, I've always been a Seahawks fan. I've never been a fan of any other team but the Seahawks for NFL. And uh, yeah, they lost unfortunately, but you know what? It was a great game. And um, Butler, that interception at the end, that was that was awesome. I mean, he just went in there and he made sure that the Patriots were not going to lose that game. Um, you can talk about the bad call on Pete Carroll's part um, for doing a slant, you know, calling a slant pass instead of doing some type of run play. But you know what? It was a great game, and let's face it, the Patriots are a great team. They have been all season. The Seahawks are a great team. They have been all season, and they were all last season. And they really were even the season before that. But fortunately, it didn't get them as far. Um, so that's all I'm going to talk about it. Um, congrats to the Patriots. They definitely deserved it, or especially Butler. He deserved that. He went in there, man. He threw Lockett across the field <laughs> to get that pass intercepted. That was phenomenal. So, congrats. Crap! I forgot my bed, guys. By the way, uh, the step thing seems to be working. The slab. Um, I have not had any broken doors now. I guess also, though, I've been trying to sleep um, on a regular basis when it becomes night. If I'm on here doing stuff, I try to sleep um, in an attempt. Where the hell did I put my bed? There it is. Wait a minute. Yeah. Did you guys do this? Oh. Oh, yeah, you think you can just have babies, and that's your only job, right? Your job's not to keep this place cleaned up? Hmm. Yeah, that's all you say is, hmm. Got no real answers, do ya? Oh, you changed the tone, and that makes all the world a difference. How did those disappear? So I've kind of laid out the uh, road here, or the path, whatever you want to call it, up to the house. And I'll end it here, and then the house will be somewhat here in this position. Uh, maybe not rounded like this, but uh, we'll go ahead and extend the land out just on this level here. We'll extend it out. And make it look a little natural along this ridge. And that'll give us the footprint um, for the house. Um, so I think that'll be plenty in size. We can always go down. I don't really want to go up. I think I want to keep it a one story. Um, if we have something upstairs, it'll be small. It won't be... This is not going to be a square house at all. It's going to be, uh... Um... I don't know. It'll, it'll be misshaped, because I'll have different rooms coming off. And once I'm able to figure that out, um... Once I expand the land here around this way, that'll give me an idea of what I want to do. Um, I don't mind going down, like I said. Uh, we can dig down and put rooms and whatnot. Do not have a problem. So I think I think that's the layout we want to go with. Um, I had some technical difficulties here 
recording this video, so I'm a little bit frazzled with that. Uh, even though it seems like it's only been 20 minutes or so for you guys, it's been hours for me. <laughs> uh, I have done, done some other stuff. Oh, that's the smoke. Um, over that way, but I think we're going to save it for the next episode. Because I am just to the point like, what the heck is going on? Anyway. Um, yeah, I think we'll call it here. So, off camera I'll get some of this land situated. And then uh, one of the episodes coming up, we'll go ahead and start working on this house. Um, this house will probably be several stages, several phases, um, and probably over a few different episodes. And we'll just work on it here or there um, over the next few episodes. And uh, in between getting some of these other banished buildings done, uh, I'm going to stick with the alphabetical order on the building. So I think the next thing we're building is a cemetery. And so that should be a pretty easy build. So we might actually work on some of this house um, and then work on the cemetery. And we should be able to finish the cemetery and uh, maybe get a better footprint um, established here for the house. And the stable will be somewhere down here probably is what I'm thinking. Um, because that's all hilly. I don't want to do a ton of terraforming if I don't have to. I'm going to have to do some here too. But Anywho, I don't know if I explained. See, that's the problem. I did a bunch of video and it all got scratched because of my hard drive issue that I had. So I have no clue what's going to be going into this video. So I guess I won't repeat myself. We'll just save it until we actually do it. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did try to include some little comic relief bits in here because of the issues I had. Uh, <laughs> they kind of took away from any type of building. But we did get an achievement done. Um, we got kind of a footprint here. Got an idea of what we want to do. Uh, to get this house going and uh, Yeah, we'll save we'll save some building for next episode. I hope you enjoyed it uh, Please leave a like comment subscribe and until next time See you bye